Morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm at a private woodland in Sussex today and uh, I've just been spent a couple of hours in this hide and I've been photographing woodland birds and uh, it's a really nice chap um, called John who's been working on this woodland for about seven or eight years and he's set up hides all over the place. So there's a hide here, there's hides up there, there's hides in the centre of the woodland and it's, it's superb because there's so many different backgrounds. There's reflection pools and uh, as I say, John's very kindly let me uh, photograph the woodland birds this morning and uh, I've so far seen nuthatches, goldfinches, coal tits, great tits, blue tits, uh, great spotted woodpeckers, robins, blackbirds, dunnocks, a whole array of woodland birds and it's been superb. Um, as I say, uh, John's put an enormous amount of work in, the backgrounds are great, the perches are brilliant and there's so much wildlife coming in and out. So, so I'll, uh, I'll put a link to John's um, uh, John's Woodland in uh, in the description below. It's called Miller's Wood and it's in Sussex and it's a really great place to come and visit. Uh, you can come here for the day. Uh, I will actually be running some workshops here later on in the year as well so uh, I think I'm starting in October time. So I'll, uh, I'll put a link down to uh, my website uh, page uh, for my workshops that I'm going to be running at Miller's Wood and I'll put a link direct to John for, uh, to Miller's Wood as well because you can come here uh, directly and, and book the day in the hide. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's been a great morning. Um, this afternoon I'm going to another hide, uh, so I've got a diff up, up the hill, so I've got a different background, uh, and we'll see what we get. But I've got some lovely stills, I've got some lovely footage, and uh, I'm having a cracking morning. So uh, I'll uh, speak to you soon, guys. Hi guys, uh, I'm in the second hide now and uh, the light's still fabulous. Um, the lights move around so that's why I've moved hides and I've got light right onto this sort of the set over here. And I've got all, this, uh, all the birds are coming in, in and out like no one's business. Long-tailed tits, nuthatches, uh, great spotted woodpeckers, blue tits, great tits, cold tits, it's all happening. And what I'm tending to concentrate on a bit more now is um, once I've got the uh, all the sort of basic shots, you know, the perching shots and, and pictures of all the birds, I can now take my time and just look for little bits of behaviour, maybe a wing flap or a taking off shot or a little bit of interaction between a couple of birds. So I'm going to pick my moments a little bit more now this afternoon. I've got a different background. There's some lovely uh, orangey leaves in the background that gives um, the background a really warm feel to it. And as I say, the light's great. Um, it's winter. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Um, yeah, it's winter time at the moment, so we've got this really crisp, clear light, and I've probably got about another hour, hour and a half of light left, so I'm going to get as many more shots in the bag as I can, because this is just such a stunning opportunity. So, uh, yeah, I'll uh, speak to you soon, guys. Really pleased with this shot. Lovely catch light in the eye, the light's fantastic, and I love nut hatches. I just think they're superb birds. So, um, one of many, uh, I'm gonna have a lot of pictures to go through. 
I think that's about it for today. It's been absolutely superb. Um, I maybe have a, might have 15 minutes worth of light, but the light's going to start to uh, drop behind the trees. So uh, I'm going to call it a wrap in a little while, but it's been brilliant. Um, yeah, all the woodland birds I mentioned, uh, I've got great spotted woodpeckers, nut hatches, uh, goldfinches, greenfinches, and they're quite scarce these days. Um, blue tits, great tits, cold tits, it's been superb. Dunnocks, blackbirds, robins, it's been a really good day. Um, now, I've brought my 300mm prime with me today, uh, not the 600mm or my 200 to 500mm millimeter zoom, and there's a good reason for that. Firstly, I didn't need uh, the 600 because the birds are quite close, that's the way these hides are set up. And secondly, uh, this is a better option for me than the zoom lens because it's got a really fast maximum aperture, it's an f2.8 lens, so that means it gets a lot of light in through, this, uh, through the lens. Uh, and the, the beauty of that is, is if the light levels drop, I mean they've been good today because it's been sunny all day, but if I'm on here on say a cloudy day and I want to shoot with a fast shutter speed, I don't have to push the ISO up quite so much. And these small birds, they are quick, and if, you know, if I want to do a taking off uh, shot, I'm probably going to need, I normally shoot at something like a 3200 of a second, so having this maximum wide maximum aperture of f2.8 means the ISO can be lower than it would normally be on my zoom lens which is an aperture of a uh, uh, maximum aperture of 5.6 so um, yeah it's uh, not essential but really handy to have uh, in conditions where the light levels might be dropping but it's been great light today so the zoom lens would have also been fine so yeah thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it I've certainly enjoyed my day here it's been absolutely brilliant uh, and if you have enjoyed this video if you can give it a like, a thumbs up, that would be great. That always helps my channel. Uh, and if you haven't already subscribed, if you can consider subscribing, that would be brilliant. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I'll say bye for now, guys.